welcome back to the vlog. It's 60 degrees and raining outside right now and I am so excited. It's giving fall vibes. It's time to decorate for fall. It's actually still August as I'm filming this, but I have been ready for fall for weeks now, just waiting for the weather to get cool enough. And also I'm leaving tomorrow for like a week and a half. And so I want to just like come back to a fully decorated, ready for fall apartment. So that's the plan. I just finished up with work for the day and I have a whole bucket of fall stuff behind me that I need to go through and figure out what to do with. This is actually the fourth fall that I've been in this apartment, which is crazy. So I need to like go through what I have. I feel like I switch it up a little bit every year, but like for the most part, everything stays the same. So I kind of have a plan. I did get a couple of new items this year. I went to Home Goods and Marshalls over the weekend. And I think that I'm just way too late on the fall train because everything is Halloween and there's like nothing fall left. But I did find these little lights at, I'm pretty sure I found these at Home Goods and they light up. These are gonna be so cute. I think I'm gonna string them in the kitchen. I have like a little cutout above the sink. And then I also bought this yesterday at Target. This is the Hearth and Hand collection and I'm obsessed. <laughs> I saw this on Pinterest and I was like, I have to have it. Like there's no question about it. So I went to Target yesterday and splurge it. Actually, it was only $30, which is like kind of a lot, but also I'm like, I'm gonna use this every single year. So it's fine. We feel fine about it. But the main thing that I want to do first is actually get rid of my air conditioner and put it away. My favorite time every single year is putting this giant, ugly, loud air conditioner away. This is what the air conditioner looks like in this corner here. There's a port in the wall that this big tube goes out of and it's just so ugly and I just hate having it out here. But it's definitely necessary in the summertime because Seattle does not have central AC. Okay, first step is going to be just pulling this out from a wall. <laughs> And then this is a little more complicated. I feel like I struggle with this every single time I try to fold this out. Oh, okay. That was easier than I thought. I am going to go clean the filter though before I put this away. Okay, and then I have this ready to be put back on. And this goes in to cover it up. Luckily, this thing is on wheels, so it just rolls out of here but I need to make sure that I have space in the closet to roll this in because I probably have stuff all over the closet floor. The first of many steps is done. That was quite the workout, getting that thing back into my closet. I'm glad I thought to pull the little plug though because I drained quite a bit of water out of it and also realized there was another filter that I needed to clean. So hopefully it's like good and prepped to sit in the closet for the next nine months until I need it again. Now we're gonna move the bar cart over here back into the corner where it belongs. Thank goodness. Bar cart is back in the corner. So happy about it. Now I can move my blanket basket back. I really have to like rearrange the whole place for the air conditioner. I also decided on a new TV stand to order that is way more affordable than the one I was originally looking at. I'm gonna order it as soon as I'm back from my trip and I'm so excited. It's gonna look so good with my fall stuff. Now I need to pull all the bottles off of my bar cart because I can't decide exactly what I wanna put on top of it yet, but I am gonna put something where those alcohol bottles are. So I'm gonna pull all those off and put them in the pantry. I look like an alcoholic. <laughs> Usually I leave a bottle of caramel vodka and a bottle of champagne on my bar cart but I don't have either of those things right now to make caramel apple mimosas, so I'm gonna need to stock up. This is what we're working with on top of the two things that I already showed you. This bucket smells so good. I can't tell if there's a fall candle in there somewhere or if everything just smells like my apartment did when I packed it all away. I don't think I'm gonna put this pillow on the couch this year though. I'm kind of over it. I don't really love it anymore, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. But I forgot that I had this one. I think I just got this one last year and I really like it. <laughs> it was like, over here playing with the pom-poms. I can't decide if I should leave the pillows I currently have on the couch and just add to it, or if I should replace the green ones with fall ones. So we maybe do that kind of a situation? That's kind of cute. Or do we do something like this instead? 
I don't know what to do with this small orange one. I really like it. I think it's really cute, but it feels out of balance. I don't know. I'm gonna need my mom to help me. <laughs> I can't figure out how to style these. This is my favorite piece of fall decor that I've ever owned. Okay, I had to resituate a little bit, but I got it how I want it. And I'm also gonna change out the words on that picture. So last year I did something like that and then I had a couple of bottles of alcohol on top too. As a different option, we could go with the tray and then fill it with things. I just, I think I like got rid of almost everything that I used to put in there, but we could do some sort of situation like this and then put something in the top, I don't know. I feel like instead of this video being titled decorating my apartment for fall, it should be help me decorate my apartment for fall because I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah, uh, there is a candle in here and it is completely melted. I'm gonna move Mila's cat toys over to the side here and put a couple things inside here. Can't wait to get a new TV stand. I feel like every year I gravitate a little bit further away from like traditional orange and more into like the more like rustic burnt colors. And so I'm debating if I want to just get rid of this and replace it with this one, or if I still wanna use this and put that one somewhere else. Like in comparison, this one just looks really cheap now. I can't even remember where I got this. Oh, it looks like I got it at Target. Kinda of sad to move everything off my tray though because I do really like it right now. Of course, Mila has to sit in the tray. Typically, I do something like this. I usually put this here, this sign, and then I usually do the candle. I put some leaves down here and then I put this pumpkin and this candle and that's kind of how I arranged this. Maybe we could do swap it around a little or we can get rid of this completely and put this one here instead except that it doesn't fit with everything. So I would have to do something like this. And I feel like I would even get rid of all these leaves at the bottom. It's like super orange and not really the vibe. And then do this. And I think I like that way better. Other option would be to keep this here and do something where I replace this one and put this away for the fall and put this on this tray here in the living room, which also looks cute, but I think I like it better in the kitchen. And maybe I could find something different for right here. I just feel like this matches the word cozy on this sign, like literally perfectly. It brings out the maroon kind of color so much. And I actually really love that, like that. I think I'm gonna leave that and I think I'm gonna get rid of this orange which means i also don't need this anymore the kitchen i swap out this sign with this one then i have this cute little stand with this little pumpkin coffee mug and these little spoons are these not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life maybe i do something like this instead I like that better. And then I just keep everything that I'm replacing with fall stuff in the same bucket. So when I go to move all my fall stuff back into the bucket, I can move all my regular stuff back out. I am obsessed with this. I need like 12 of them. I'm just gonna scatter a couple of pumpkins up here. And then I need to figure out, I need to go look and see if I have command strips to hang up those lights right here. I had to put the hair up because it was driving me crazy, but I couldn't find any command hooks, but I have a lot of the strips. So I'm gonna try that and see if it works. It just feels like fall in here, like the vibes could not be better. The rain outside, the cool air coming in, all my fall stuff around me, I'm so happy. I don't know how to get the, t like the test thingy off. Oh. I'm genuinely so confused right now. Well, the internet says that I can just give it a firm tug, which is what I was thinking about doing, but was afraid to do, so. Let's just see. If I just broke this, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> they still work. 
Yay! Figure out how to set these up. I think, kind of think they're glass. I can't tell if they're glass or hard plastic. I'm a little afraid if they're glass. I would have to like double up on them. And I'm not sure if that would look weird or if that would be okay because they're really long. Like they're at least double, if not more than the length of the cabinet. I feel like I'm gonna have to put them all like actually on top of the shelf. Otherwise Mila is going to rip them right down. Oh no. Yep, that's glass. We just shattered one. Okay, so this is what I was originally thinking, but I feel like I need plan B. Okay, I can't tell if I'm playing a very dangerous game by having these up here because I don't want Mila to jump up here. Also don't know if it looks weird to just have this like string all around. Like I feel like it just kind of looks messy. Like does that even do anything? I guess it would be nighttime when I turn these on. So let's turn the lights off. I mean, it does add a really cute cozy vibe. So maybe we'll leave it there for now and just see what happens. All of this is like trial and error here. Okay, these are the things I have left. So I want to move over to the hallway slash the front door area. I've been slowly working on this hallway and changing out the decor. So I just recently got two new pictures to put in here and I want to redo this bottom shelf. And then I really like the plant that I have on this top one, but I want to get a different picture frame for up there. I just, the pink is not what I'm doing anymore. That's what I had when I first moved in, everything was pink. And now I'm like, I can't stand it. So I really want to try to like come up with something else. But for now, I'm going to pull these things down and replace them with this little wreath and a little pumpkin, I think. Pumpkin here, maybe. That's cute. I think last year I had kind of like command stripped this up a little bit, but it kept falling down. So I think I'm just gonna stick it on the shelf this year. I feel like I could also find something else. I don't love this plant just in general. I originally tried to put the plant that I just bought at Target yesterday here and it just didn't fit, it was way too big. So last year I just put this little pumpkin here instead. I feel like that's cute. I feel like I could also do like a candle or something here maybe. I don't really have one more thing other than just like more pumpkins and I don't know the move. Like do we just load the, sh load the table with pumpkins or is that like really weird? <laughs> I can't decide anything. Maybe we just go with that for now. I don't know. I feel like I also need to get some different towels that aren't so orange now that I'm kind of moving away from the orange a little bit. But for now, wow, that's really wrinkly. I mean, it's cute. It's just really wrinkled. Maybe I'll throw it in the wash. I feel like I could also throw a couple pumpkins in this tray to add a little something. White pumpkin, I feel like I could probably put somewhere. I just don't know where. This one is really pretty orange. These ones are just so cheap. I think I got them at Target like four years ago. Like they're definitely not as nice as like these other pumpkins that I upgraded to. I think these ones came from Home Goods. I definitely think I'm gonna ditch the leaves this year though and these two items. Maybe I'll just throw these over here on top of the litter box. I think I might try to plug my fan in. I don't know what to do with my fan. In the winter, the fan is not a problem because I put it away. But in the meantime, I just, I hate having this cord just like sticking out across the room over here. But the only other outlet I have is like way over there and it doesn't quite reach. Okay, actually it does kind of reach. We're gonna go with that so that we don't have the cord running across the room. I do want to do something else with this extension cord too though. Like maybe I can command strip this somewhere. I feel like the only way it could command strip is to the back. Okay, I have no idea if that's gonna stay or not, but that's definitely better than what I had going on before, even though that looks kind of weird. Maybe we'll just cover it up with the pumpkins. And I just have my air purifier here too. These are the things I'm gonna put in a bag and see if maybe my mom wants them. Like she does a lot more of the orange, so I think maybe she might want these, but I don't know. If not, I'll probably just get rid of them.
I look like a mess now. That only took me an hour and a half though, which really isn't that bad considering that I put away my air conditioner and everything. The only thing I didn't end up using is this tray. And so I don't know, I need to figure out like if I have a different place for it. I feel like I'm so limited to like the space I have, but I'm so happy. I have a lot of cleaning and packing and showering to do tonight before I leave tomorrow. But I'll be so happy to come back to an apartment that's decorated for fall. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll link a couple of my past vlogs down below if you wanna go check them out. And I will just see you in my next video. Bye.